Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are bringing you exciting news about a major leap in AI powered development. Google has officially launched Jules 2.0, their advanced AI coding agent and this is publicly available after its beta phase 12. Jules 2.0 is designed to revolutionize how developers build, create and ship ideas at scale. I will walk you through the actual coding exercise that I did with Jules. It is very interesting. This powerful tool goes beyond simple code snippets. It can clone the entire code base, process full projects, context and handle complex tasks in the background while you focus on the bigger picture. And this is powered by Google's state-of-the-art Gemini 2.5 Pro. Jules 2.0 offers a suite of impressive features including seamless pull request management. We will see that environment snapshots, interactive task planning and AI powered critical agent for real time code reviews. So it is interesting. It, is, it works around the, our GitHub repo. It acts as an autonomous teammate, significantly reducing friction in the development cycle and ensuring high code quality. Stay tuned as we explore how Jules 2.0 is set to transform the world of coding. But before we get into the demo walkthrough of what I have actually done with it, I want you to listen to this short AI generated uh, notebook LLM about Jules 2.0 feature so that we don't miss anything. Anything that I may have missed, you will hear it in this audio. See you back. All right. Today we are diving into a brand new tool from Google that could, and I mean really could, change how developers work every single day. It's called Jules 2.0, and it's all built around this one massive idea. What if your AI wasn't just helping you out, but was actually a member of your team? So let's find out what that really means. So if you're a developer, I have a question for you. Does this feel a little too familiar? You got into this because you love to build things, right? But the day-to-day, -day, wow, it can be a total grind. It's less about that creative spark and, well, it's a lot more about this next part. You know what I'm talking about. You're just constantly jumping around bouncing between your code editor, then over to GitHub, back to your terminal, and then you've got like a dozen browser tabs open for docs. You burn hours, literally hours, just trying to set up an old project environment. And don't even get me started on the manual code reviews that just bring all progress to a screeching halt. It's this cycle of friction that just gets in the way of actually coding. Yeah, that's what we're calling the developer's daily grind. And look, a ton of tools have tried to speed up one little piece of this puzzle. But Google's approach here is different. They're not just trying to fix one thing. They're trying to solve the whole problem by completely rethinking the workflow itself. And this, my friends, is where Jules enters the picture. The core idea here is a really fundamental shift in how we think. We are not talking about another AI assistant that just pops up and suggests the next line of code for you. No, the goal here is an AI teammate, an autonomous partner that you can hand entire tasks off to. Now, Google has a very specific name for this, an asynchronous AI coding agent. Let's break that down because that word asynchronous is everything. It means you don't have to sit there and wait for it. You give it a job, right? Like, hey, go update all the dependencies on this project. And Joel just goes and works on it in the background while you move on to your next thing. It's not a conversation, it's delegation. And how it does this is actually pretty fascinating. When you give Jules a task, it doesn't just peek at the file you have open. No way. It clones your entire code base into its own secure, totally isolated virtual machine in the cloud. And that is the absolute game changer. The AI gets the full context of the whole project so it can see how all the different pieces fit together before it even thinks about writing a single line of code. And this isn't just some concept, okay? This thing has been put through its paces. During its public beta, developers used Jules to generate over 140,000 code improvements. And we're not just talking about little bug fixes. We're talking feature updates, major refactoring, writing tests, a huge range of real development work all handled by the AI. Okay, that all sounds great in theory, but how does it actually solve that daily grind we were talking about? Let's get specific and look at the features designed to wipe out those exact headaches we mentioned just a minute ago. First up, context switching. Remember that whole dance between your code and GitHub? 
Well, Jules integrates pull request management right inside the platform. You can open them, review them, and merge them all from one place. This is a perfect example of that teammate idea. Jules can get a change ready for you, and you can just seamlessly review and merge its work. All right, on to the next headache. We've all been there, right? You have to jump back into a project you haven't touched for like six months. What version of Node was that using? What were all those specific dependencies? Just trying to recreate that setup can kill half your day. The solution for this is something called environment snapshots. And honestly, it feels like a superpower. With just one click, you capture the exact state of the development environment. Every single dependency, every setting, all of it. Your project is frozen in time. Then, months from now, when you need to fix a bug, you can restore that entire environment instantly. The half-day setup grind, it's just gone. So what about code quality? How do you catch those sneaky bugs before they make it out into the wild? Well, Google has a feature for this called the Critic Agent. And this quote from the source material just nails it. It really is like getting an instant code review from the most experienced person on your team. And this Critic Agent, it goes way beyond just spotting typos. It's trained to think like a senior engineer. It's hunting for performance bottlenecks, inefficient code, and potential bugs. It'll even flag logic that seems fine now, but might totally break under some weird edge case later on. This is not spell check for your code. It's proactive, serious quality control. So right about now, you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, I already use tools like GitHub Copilot. How is this any different? And that is the most important question because it really gets to the heart of the different philosophies behind these tools. Okay, the simplest way to think about it is like this. GitHub Copilot is your pair programmer. It sits next to you, working with you in the moment, suggesting what you might type next. On the other hand, Jules is your autonomous teammate. It works for you in the background, handling entire tasks that you've delegated. So one helps you type faster, the other one takes whole chunks of work off your to-do list. All right, so you're intrigued. You're thinking maybe you wanna give this a shot. What's it going to take to get started? And, you know, what's it going to cost? Let's get into the practical details. So the pricing is actually built into Google's existing AI subscriptions, and the tiers kind of tell the whole story. At the low end, for just a couple bucks on a Google One plan, it's accessible to pretty much anyone. Then in the middle, you have the AI Pro plan at around 20 bucks. That's clearly the sweet spot for professional developers. And then you've got this Ultra tier, which is obviously built for some serious enterprise-level work. It's not just a tool for huge companies, it's made to scale all the way from a hobbyist up to an entire team. And getting set up, they've made it about as straightforward as it gets. You just go to the Jules website, sign in with your Google account, and then you give it permission to connect to your GitHub repos. That's it. From there, you just pick a project, tell it what to do, and let your new AI teammate get to work. And really, that brings us to the final big picture thought here. This shift from an AI assistant to an AI teammate, it's a really big deal. It asks this fundamental question about what the future of work even looks like for developers. Is this the model we're heading towards? A future where humans focus on the big ideas, the architecture, the creative problems, while these autonomous AI agents handle all the implementation, the testing, and the maintenance? It's a pretty fascinating question to think about. Thanks for joining me for this explainer, and we'll see you on the next one. I did the screen recording of my experiment with Jules. That is what we're going to see. So when you visit the Jules web page, it looks like this uh, chat interface, like chat GPT. First, what you need to do is to connect your GitHub repo to this. So I have connected my uh, chatbot repo like this. You can add multiple repos. Okay, so that is done. So this is a chatbot that I experimented with. This is what I have told it. Can you create a new API backend folder and copy the latest code into it and make this change? Every chat interaction should be sent as a JSON to an endpoint. That is it. First thing, I connected my report to Jules. Second thing, I told it what it should do. Everything else happened on its own and it worked first time itself. So here it extracted the information, creating a new directory. 
and it found the latest code in this folder. I like this interface where on the right side you have tabs for each of the files that it is working on. And finally, if you see here, it has added this section. It added this section in my code. See here, it is collecting the interaction here and uh, is calling HTTP X async client and posting the information in JSON format. So it correctly created the folder, took the latest code and made the changes. Uh, reason I like is it is centered around GitHub. So you don't need to worry about any local installation. So this is the live repo. It copied this folder, which has the latest code, created this API backend, and there it made the changes. Now, it did not make changes in the main branch. It created a new branch, API backend. See this one? Based on our command, it created a new folder, API backend. If your development revolves around GitHub-based projects, so try this out and give your valuable comments. Let me know any other similar demonstration you would like to see. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Your support really helps. Have ideas or suggestions? Drop them in the comments. Let's build together. At Shogani, we offer expert nocodemake.com and Python AI automation consulting with ready-to-use modules to jumpstart your projects. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.